can't trust that stuff. All of YouTube, you just a waste of time. But the fact is that it always touches someone. You post something, my mom, you know, your mom is going to read it. You're, you're an influencer for at least one other person or a group of people. And if you're a good blogger, then you're an influencer for a lot of people. Uh, uh, Huffington Post, they're oh. always on the media. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Same thing with Barcamp, right? It's, you, don't, you don't necessarily have TED um, style uh, speeches. But for example, at Barcamp Miami, we had Kevin Marks of Google. Google uh, Kevin Marks is a, is a worldwide authority in what he does. And he spoke at Barcamp Miami. Um, and Barcamp Orlando, and different Barcamps have different things. By the way, Barcamp is, tends to be more about technology, but you can have, there was a transit camp about fixing public transportation. There's been health camps. There's been superhero camps. Superhero camps is about uh, charities. Um, there's all kinds of different camps and people that make, it's a user-generated conference because right. the people that come to it are the people that speak and that creates connections and people uh, learn about projects that are going on, people get jobs that way. Um, it, students are incredibly motivated by finding out what companies and other entrepreneurs are doing locally. So it's an uh, incredible vector for innovation at the local level. And so while we can download, and I, you know, I, on my podcast, on my iPod, I have like TED, and I, I go biking and I listen to TED. Yeah. But on the local, you know, TED doesn't do anything for me except that it gives me nice ideas, right? But on right. the local level, Barcamp does more for me because I connect with people locally that are doing incredible things. And on some of these Barcamps, you have people coming from across the nation. And what we have here in South Florida is we have people coming from South America uh, to, to our events. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and yeah. that's incredible. Now, Barcamp isn't that small. Uh, the Barcamps I've been to in Florida and in Orlando and Miami have been about 300 people. So it's not really that small. It's, it's significant. Sure. Say. No, so that's, that's my soapboxing. You, I hope you didn't get the impression that I'm negative on Barcamp at all. Right. Um, it's just that Barcamp, there, there are different functions that play different roles. You know, and Barcamp has a place in its role. Of course. You know, it is a self-defined conference. It happens a little bit ad hoc, mm -hmm. depending on how it's set up, etc. Um, and it, it won't it'll have broad themes, but it won't necessarily focus in on target areas that you're looking for. If you, you do a TED or you do something where you've sort of set out a manifesto, kind of, and then you have people respond into that right. in this tech environment where, for example, we're spending a lot of time in the Banner Center going out and talking to industry to find out what it is they say they want. We're, we're sitting down around round tables with CEOs and finding that out. And we, we have these pictures come back to us. So we need to act on that guidance and then say we would like to emphasize these areas which they've said are critical. So we have that piece. So it's a different puzzle piece because the blog, and you know, not blog Orlando, but the bar camps are one piece of the puzzle. TED is another kind of piece of the puzzle. This workforce summit is another piece. And we have a tapestry I have to mix metaphors for it. Uh, and, and we go there. Yes, sir.